So I don't know if you've noticed, but in Ubuntu 22.04 and beyond, app images don't work out of the box. What? Yep, app images are broken. Yep. Uh, so to fix it, to fix it, all you have to do, apt install libfuse2. Yes. That's it. Install it. And your app images work. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. There was a lot of grumbling about this when 2204 came out because, you know, people wanted to install their app images and they, they, well, they yeah. did, they, they, they dragged them over there, but they didn't launch and didn't do the things they wanted them to because Libfuse 2 got demoted from the main repository to the universe yeah. repository. And then it became community, you know, effort to keep that up to date because Libfuse three it's the re it's the replacement essentially right so you got to move on eventually you got to get the new one out there and so that um you know that that can be the thing and it, it's the thing getting updates so that vulnerabilities aren't a problem and whatnot um and it's in the main repo which is why that's included in ubuntu because everything right. in main you know shows up there right um yeah it's not that you can't co-install the two, and it's not that it doesn't exist in Ubuntu. It just doesn't exist out of the box, I think is the frustrating part, right? Um, yeah. And so there is a solution for it. Um, and, and I think the app image developers are hesitant to adopt the new Fuse 3 uh, because... It's not everywhere yet. So you have this chicken and an egg right. sort of thing. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where, where does it begin? And so I don't know that it's a terrible situation in that um, there is a solution and it, and it does work and everybody can do the stuff they need to do. Uh, it just isn't there and available out of the gate. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, and this is, uh, as far as I understand, this is basically just on Ubuntu machines, uh, 2204 and beyond. I don't know of any of the flavors that that do add that to the installation as in in the base installation. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, Internet. Oh, they will. Uh, I, I, I know they will. <laughs> I love saying wrong things because I know, know there's you at get least the right answer real fast. Right. I know there's at least one that doesn't. <laughs> right. Yes. Main Ubuntu. That's for sure. Yeah, and so Ubuntu doesn't either. Yeah, and I ran into I ran into this because I'm on twenty three ten, mm -hmm. and it. Um, it, I, I I use the Bitwarden app image because oh, yeah. that is the one that they make themselves, and I'm a big guy they make, as far as it as far as using the developer's software right. themselves. If they put it together, that's the one I want to use, and especially well, for a security focused software like that, I want to use what they. If give. you want some solace in that, uh, they do also create the Snap for that as well. Oh, okay. So you can it, like that's that's they 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 publish that as well. If you look in the Snap Store, you can use that as well. Um, if that makes you feel any better, so you don't get the heebie-jeebies. A little bit, a li actually, a little bit. Yes. Um, I I think, but because I use things like Fedora Rawhide and I'm on Fedora 39 on the desktop. Um, oh yeah. It using the same thing everywhere mm -hmm. is um is just kind of. It's nice. You know, I, I know what to expect no matter where I sit down and where I do my work. I can, you know, type in Bitwarden or whatever and, and it'll go. So, yeah, that's super important to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. if I don't know who maintains the flat pack. I, it could be them. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I, I think they may be involved, but I don't think it's it's first party. OK, so, that's fair. Yeah, not I'm not there yet. Yeah, no, understood. Yeah, so the app image, like it's it's like app images for me are a little frustrating anyway sometimes, uh, even though yeah. you do all the steps and sometimes it still doesn't end up working super great. Yeah. I, I feel like the experience isn't necessarily consistent. Uh, so, you know, it, it it's not my first recommend that because yeah. for that, right? I, I, I can work it. I can, I can figure it out. Um, it just isn't my go-to. So to recap, if you're using Ubuntu 22.04 or newer, and you just can't figure out how to install or use. You don't really install them, right? How to no, use yeah. you just launch app them. images. Yeah. Apt install libfuse2 and you're golden. You don't have to reboot nothing. That's all you got to do. And you can go double click your app images with confidence. Yep. After you make them executable, you're good to go.